What? It's the part where we dance. It's the fat cast. And this is the part where everybody does it with me at the same time, right here. <laughs> I don't... <laughs> oh, you point? Hello, everyone. I'm Matt Miller. Welcome to the 28th episode of the seconds, Fat Cast. Seconds. And if you didn't know, Fat stands for what it's always stood for. <laughs> Colorado's favorite dirtbag? That it would be uh, frequent answers and questions. That's Nick Carlo. Nick, how are you today? Oh, I'm doing well. I had my day off. I feel refreshed. I took a nap, and apparently that's where you just sleep in the middle of the day. Yeah, I was playing video games in the room. It was real loud, and yeah. I kept looking in, and you're just... Out. I thought you were dead. Dead to the world. I mean, I would do it a pulse, but you looked alive. It's real nice. I'm, well, I'm glad you didn't. Yeah. That's right. nice. Uh, tonight, we are gathered not only with Colorado's Harry Dirtbag, but also with Mr. Howdy Do himself. Howdy Do. That's Victor Carranza uh, Jr. And we have the man who has the opinion of an average person. That's me. Nick Hogan. That's Nick Hogan. Thanks for having me here, Matt. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for showing up, Nick. <laughs> showing up on time. Actually, you showed up a little bit early, didn't you? I sure did, yeah. Matt. Nice. We Tonight, some... we're going to discuss a lot of topics. That was good. That was perfect. You were about to say something? And I did. I just have to get through this, or is it's almost done. All right. Some of our topics tonight are going to be well thought out and articulated. Other ones are going to be a mismatch of different memories of us drinking orange juice right after we decided to brush our teeth when we were little kids. Yep. Because that and was last an important week. time. Oh, that's, that's the worst. Gross. Yeah. It's not good. Now, before we start the show, Victor Carranza, something very important to say. Victor? Uh, yes, guys. Uh, you need to tweet us at FACCAST, F-A-Q-C-A-S-T. You're nailing it. Tweet us anything. Just tweet us a question. Tweet us something you guys want us to talk about. Just tweet us. Tweet me. Tweet. We're not. What's, what's our email? What's our, what's our email? Or email us at fac emails at gmail.com that's f-a-q <laughs> e-m-a-i-l-s at gmail.com I thought you were going to spell out gmail and for this special and introductory price e- we will send you two emails for every one email we get not one no, don't say that because we're not going to s- the no. people don't want that they the phone the lines fact- are lighting oh, up they are the fax spam we'll even throw in the sham wow for free is that still cool Every episode Samuel? starts off with a joke in a segment we call <laughs> oh, the bad joke of the day. Nick's bad joke of the day. <laughs> oh, man. Nick, nope. hit us up with it. This is the spot. All right, everyone out there. So I went to my local library, <laughs> <laughs> and I went up to my little library. sweet librarian, <laughs> and I asked her, hey, may I please check out the book, <laughs> book on suicide? <laughs> Get it together, Nick. <laughs> And then she tells me, well, I need to see some ID first, sir. And All right, so to recap, person... <laughs> to recap, Nick went to the librarian. Jesus Christ. And We're said, Nick do it every week. <laughs> just do... Okay, so to recap, Nick went to the librarian and said, can I check out a book on suicide? And she said, well, I'll, I'll have to see some ID because the last person didn't bring it back. <laughs> but he didn't actually get to say the, pun- the, the punchline. That was the punchline. I think line. he did. No, oh, he said, Nick didn't? No, we cut him off you, before you, that. You, you yeah. cut him off before he could deliver the actual part. That was the worst part. thing I've ever heard in my entire well, life. Well, it was really funny. <laughs> <laughs> if, you, if you like that, be sure to tune in next week. I'm going to have Nick Hogan do it again until he gets better That's at it. That's why I can early to practice that. I'll tune in. Okay. All right. <laughs> what okay. do we got on deck for next, Matt? The soapbox. So we complain about something. It's like a first world problem. Do not take this seriously. Okay. Do you guys want to talk about China? Or do you guys want to talk about people using the word millennials? I want to talk about China. You want to talk about China? Okay. Whoa, how the tides have turned, Mr. Man. I like to use the word Roll millennials. Tide. Nope. Don't even, don't even say that. <laughs> we'll get to that later. So no. before All anyone right. says anything, three problems I have with China. Okay. Number one, first and foremost, food. is their government. No, no. The problem problems with China. Not their, their food's great. Uh, it's Panda Express. Great. Yes. The biggest cult of fast food restaurants in America. They block the news, automatic cameras, they're just automated, they're all up and down the streets, they take your picture, they take videos of you, all the time, and their stock market is bullshit. <clears throat> they might, did you they know? do that in America, you know? Yeah, but we don't know about it as much. I mean, oh. You see the cameras, and you know they're not for like anything related right. to whatever marketplace you're out in front of. Their stock market is complete bullshit. When you buy sh- shares of stock, you're just, you're not actually buying a part of the company. You know, like in the United States, 
when you buy one share of Apple stock, you own 0.001%. It actually means something. There, it's just like a piece of money that has the company's name on it. That means nothing at all. So it affects their economy. In turn, it affects our economy. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. I can go into other stuff about their internet that's really shitty, all their smog, and how the people drive really selfishly. Everyone spits. Kids pee on the streets, and there is no five-second rule because of that. Wow. Go ahead, guys. A society. Mm, that's, just why, that's what I want to well, say. How can you a tell society that? with no five second rule can't even be considered a society. I'm sorry to say, I'm going to be the first to say it. That's what makes America great. It is. We got the five second rule in everywhere, right? But public restrooms and movie theaters, because you do not want to eat off of either of those. You saw the one day where I, uh, I dropped the sour patch kid on the floor. I did, and I was thinking no one was watching, and I pick it back up, <laughs> and, and I'm like holding it in my hand. And I'm thinking about it, and Nick's like, "Don't, don't do that." And I didn't. See, I'm, I really wanted to. Was that at Star Wars? I think it was at Star Wars. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> I think a lot of people were in that theater before. <laughs> yeah, I didn't. That was a well-used theater. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. All right. Any other Very thoughts well, on China? If you go in and yeah. out of that theater anytime. What? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> on, All right, Victor. Let's, let's, floor and eat it. let's yeah. hear about China. Uh, China. Um, and Star Wars, which is interesting that you brought up Star Wars. There. Thank you. Um, it Star Wars hasn't been that big of a hit in China welcome. as it was in America. It just came out in China, Chinese theaters like this past Saturday. And it's been really bad. And actually, it hasn't been bad. It's just been whatever. It was a worse movie but than it was here somehow. it turns out that people in China aren't as crazy about Star Wars as people in America oh, are. no way. No way. And, uh... They were expecting for it to make some good money, and um, and Rook Skywalker guys, was anything banned there? Like, would they cut out certain scenes? How did Avengers no. do? Uh, well, Avengers I'll get to that. Okay, guys. okay, get to it. So, you said guys. That means let's be patient. Talk. Apparently, uh, as we anticipate the final numbers for China, we're looking at probably 150 million during its theatrical th- theatrical run. Yes, 150 million. What do you get here? Star like 350. Here it's well. Sorry, continue. We had a billion. Opening weekend, it was like 200 million Mm -hmm. opening weekend alone. Yeah. But anyway, so yeah, 150 million is what it's expected to make over there, right? And to put it in perspective, guys. um, $150 is what they made. made more than Iron Man 3 over there, and it made more than Mission Impossible Rogue Nation, right? However, it's going to make less than Transformers, Dark of the Moon, Avatar, Jurassic World, Avengers Age of Ultron, Transformers Age of Extinction, your favorite movie, and Furious 7. Furious 7, guys, made $390 million. Jurassic World made $228 in China. Million in China. Because Star Wars is only going to make $150 million. The last two Transformers movies will beat Star Wars. I mean, that's- Maybe that's because, I mean, like, honestly, maybe to China, like... The other movies weren't popular over there to begin with. So they're like, well, why do we care about this franchise? We literally know. I mean, they didn't get the whole Star Wars, you know, fever. I, Maybe I know. they Maybe have they it they right, too. Well, I guess to Star Wars, to Americans, it's like this crazy multi-generational epic saga. It's movies, a phenomenon. Right? Right? Yeah, but you raise to, your kids on Star Wars. We have Star Wars to, fever here to, over there. To China, it's just another sci-fi movie. Like, it's nothing crazy. But, I, I mean, to me, that. that's crazy. I feel, I feel like that would be like... An all over the world type thing, you know, that everybody would be excited for. But when you see these numbers, I mean, Furious Seven did way more than it. It almost doubled it. Avengers, Jurassic World, and the Transformers movies, like movies, they all did a lot more than uh, Star Wars. That's why China sucks. I mean, China they don't sucks. like Star Wars. Well, over there, they're used to seeing all of the Transformers stuff because they ended up having to make all the toys since the late eighties. <laughs> so true well did they have to make the star wars toys let's not focus on that nick <laughs> okay that's true too <laughs> but yes you're right <laughs> okay so my point is invalid well that was the soapbox everybody <laughs> all right, guys <laughs> all right so we're gonna talk about things i forgot in 2015 to talk about the last episode okay and we're just gonna be this is gonna be rapid fire okay i'm just gonna so I'm going to say the first one, Nick's going to go, you're going to go, you're going to go, and just say one quick thing about it. You got it. it. Okay, you ready? Stupid shit we cared about 2015. Nick. 
I'm the world, gonna, the I'm, World Series with the Red Sox. No, 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 no. no I'm going <laughs> to say a thing, and you're going to respond to it. Okay. I didn't say it fast enough. Okay, ready? Fuller House. What? Fuller House, the sequel to Fuller um, House. The comedian guy who... Bob Saget. Bob Saget. Nothing? Okay. Caitlyn Jenner, Victor? She was a man. Nick, we, yes. people start using the word squad. Squad? Yeah. Suicide Squad. Yeah! Can't wait for that movie. 2016. That was Netflix and chill. Xanax and chill? Uh, the stupid hoverboards, Victor. They don't actually hover. Uh, Ronda Rousey blew up and now no one cares anymore because she got knocked out once. I still care, Ronda. Uh, there was that black and blue, white and gold dress, Nick. Uh, but I thought Shit. it was yellow and red. Victor, ice bucket challenge. <laughs> it was too cold. I didn't do it, but I said I did. You, you wanted to. You lied. That was last year? Uh, yeah. Wow. Uh, Nick, yes. hotline bling. I don't like Drake. <laughs> you don't like Drake? Okay, and then for everyone, everyone, uh, the Power Rangers short. I thought it was awesome. I can't wait for them to make a movie. Amazing. James Vanderbeek, oh my God. Blows my mind. That was it. Oh, we also missed some movies. We, we missed Mad Max. We didn't talk about Mad Max, I, Terminator, Mission ooh. Impossible, The Martian, or The Hunger Games that no one cared about. Mad Those Max. Those are a lot of movies. Mad Max wins? Mad Max. I think Mad Max won. Uh, yeah, probably Mad Max. I like The Martian a lot, though. I should read the book. I do want to watch The Martian. I haven't seen that movie yet. I want to read. I should. I'm going to let you guys fill me in on the book and the movie later. Okay. Nick doesn't read books. Nope. Don't let Nick talk. (laughs) He's about to say something important. What, Nick? I'm going to go with Hunger Games because I want to win a date with Jennifer Lawrence. Yeah. Hopefully she's watching. Yeah. All right, everyone. Or listening and watching. Jennifer, we love you. Jerk. And. (laughs) Jerking? What? If you whisper it into the mic, people can. She's still definitely hear not it. gonna listen now after hearing that. <laughs> she could be one of <laughs> or our unless ten she's viewers. One of those kinky little people that gets off on that kind of thing. Everyone, we're now on to shit news. Nick, why is it shit news? Cause Matt, it's shitty, real shitty. Okay, number one, the Powerball is at one point five billion dollars. That's a billion with a B, ladies and gentlemen. You have a one in two hundred ninety-two million chance of winning. If you win it, like, what would happen? What would happen? That That's our question for fact. Wow. You just... You know what? We can go to that right now. That's fine. I'm cool with that. Well, Ladies and gentlemen, know. we're changing things up here on fact. We don't live by the Actually, rules. No, we don't, don't play we don't by the book. Time. We don't have enough time. Didn't make any sense. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if you do Victor Sports Box. Didn't make fun of that. On to that later. We gotta do Victor Sports Box. Yeah. We're, we're right. going by the rules. Yeah, You're right. Box it up. So here's a clip from The Simpsons where he almost won the lottery. Oh, it's hilarious. <laughs> I've got so many tickets I can't use. The first number is 17. No! You can still win some money if you have five out of six. Woohoo! And the second number is three. No! Three. Yeah, I knew he wouldn't win. But why didn't you tell the rest of us? Why did you keep it a secret? <laughs> <laughs> um. So do you guys know how the math works for the Powerball? Like if you buy if you buy one and there's ten tickets sold, it's like a ten percent chance of winning, right? You buy two out of ten, it's a twenty percent chance of winning. But if you if it's like one in a million and you buy one, it's like one times ten to the negative six percent chance of winning. If you buy two, it's two out of ten. That's still pretty much nothing. It's not like the final number gets divided or multiplied by two. You get what I mean? No, Matt, I don't. But a lot of people. Okay, so a lot of people. A lot of people think. Okay, so if, if you buy one ticket, Victor, say you have one in a two hundred million chance, right? Mm. If you buy two, it's a two in two hundred million chance, right? That's you can't divide that two by two and then divide the one million by two and make it a one in five hundred thousand chance. That's not how the math works. So you're you get saying that? there's a chance. There is a chance, but I'm saying to uh, what? Well, no, I, I, I. So if there's two hundred, we'll just say one million. A million chances to win. One in one million. And I have one out of a hundred million, or one out of one million. Mm-hmm. And then I have, buy another ticket, I have two out of one million. Yeah, one million. Yeah. That doesn't mean you can cut it, do the fraction, and cut it down to one in 500,000. Well, I don't know. Why would I think that, though? I don't know, because that's what a lot of people think for some reason. I believe. A lot of people are dumb. A lot of people are really dumb. I just wanted to clear that up. Wait, that doesn't make sense, though. Why would anybody, like, think like that? Where did that, because how does that thought process even here, happen? Victor. People don't if know how I fractions have five fucking cookies, work. Well, and one of them is <laughs> black. black. <laughs> and you want one cookie. How many cookies do you how have? How many cookies are not black? 
Three. Still four. Still four. <laughs> All right, Victor, here. Let me break the math down okay. for you on how people can come to that logical conclusion. Talk about averages for a second. All right. Let's think about, about how dumb the average person is. And then multiply that. All the people that are dumber than that. Science. That's not how you explain that. First off, no. Right. You say, if you say, if half of the people on the in the world are average, that means literally half the other people are below average. Yes. That's that what makes I'm you saying. sad. Yes. This is, this is just the one fact of more than half of the, half of the country is below average. Yes. Yeah. There you go. There it is. Facts on fact. Anyway, Victor. Oh, you going to learn today. What do you think about the Powerball? Did you buy any of you guys buy a Powerball no, ticket? I, don't I might not now. That. I'm definitely, I never buy a Powerball ticket. I never do. It's. My dad called me when he was uh, out of town. He's like, hey, Nick, um, so the Powerball is getting pretty high. Can you swing by and buy me a couple tickets if you get a chance? I forgot, by the way, because I forget everything that he says usually. Did you forget on purpose? Still got time. No, I didn't. You guys want to go out and get tickets after this? Yeah. No. Um, no, no not really. Nope. But he he ended up getting some himself, so hopefully he'll win. Hopefully. Apparently, you should just pick whatever numbers you want, because even if it gets called, you just split it with somebody else. So you still get to have the same percent chances of winning or losing. A lot of people think that if you pick the same number, like if you pick like one, 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 everyone else is going to pick that. So there's a greater chance of you winning. But it's just like, you can split it with all those people. So what does it matter? Huh. Hmm. So you know what I mean? That's a good point. I get what you're saying, but is the, let's say 140 or $1.4 billion Powerball, is that still picked by the hot girl on the TV with a little wheel thing or is are we up to more Who advanced i think it's the, the same ball. girl and she's just really old now <laughs> that's why it takes so long for her to do this who like, does the powerball and how do they get all this money it's computer it's rigged some rich ass people and then a lot of the money goes to taxes and a lot of money goes to them and then we get so yeah it's dumb it's real dumb the lottery came up before the powerball right and the lottery just became like a statewide thing and then the powerball was like oh we can just do all of it Pretty genius, actually. We should just come up with a different version of it. So a bunch of rich people are like, hey, guys, let's put our money in this pool. And mm. then the winner just basically pays us all that back. No, I don't, it's not one rich person. It's no, everybody that puts in a dollar or every dollar. It's two dollars. Every two dollars that someone Important. puts in, two dollars <laughs> into the one point four billion. And then, yeah, if no one if no one wins it. Then if and by no one winning it, I mean you have to have the random balls come out. There's not just and like if it's not six nine six nine six nine six nine. Then no one wins. There's not just some like rich guy who's backing this whole thing. It comes yeah. from all of us. It comes no, from all of us. I, and the Powerball takes saying. a fee every single time someone maybe like it's a cent or two cents, and that pays for the rest of their corporation. And when you buy a ticket, I'm sure it says you understand that you, you're in basically investing in the Powerball, and of your two dollars. Only a dollar seventy-five of it is going to go into the next prize pool. That's why it gets bigger every single day. If no yeah. events, and it just starts getting astronomically bigger now because it's so expensive now. Everyone's buying so tickets. what? Like I guess all those people that have won, like obviously we've heard nothing but stories about people who win the Powerball, like kill themselves in the next five years mm-hmm. or suffer cra- crazy tragedies. Like why? Well, that's probably going to happen to me without winning the Powerball, right? Because they probably get a bunch of attention from people that they're usually not used to dealing with, or their family members yeah, say, hey, they're probably can I have some of this too. money? Or there's, yep. yeah. Oh, also, yeah, if you have the winning lottery ticket, oh my God, you have a big bullet on your head already. That's not what it's called. You don't see a bullet. Target. Like, cause I heard sort of like this guy who like won it and he, or he won some of it. I don't know. And, uh, he kept it a secret from his wife. Huh. Oh, that seems real dumb. Smart. Yeah. Because he was like, yeah, I mean, what would you like if I no, won? No, I have, I have heard this story. She found out that he got the winning lottery ticket. Yes. And uh, she killed his husband, and they were the only two people who knew about it at the time. And then she was trying to get the money for it. Come to find Whoa. out that was the reason. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. He broke up with his wife because he won the Powerball yeah. ticket. Yeah, that's what it was. And then she was like, no, you can't do that. You won the Powerball when you were still married to me. I still take half, motherfucker. Dang. Stupid. It's probably a redneck. So Why we sign prenuptial agreements? I mm. Comes out of her trailer saying, "Give me back my ticket." Ticket or click it. All right, next. Um, North Korea. They're doing underground hydrogen bomb testing. Is it? It's it's loading right now. Oh yeah, yes. heard about this? Yeah, I don't, yeah. They say they claimed to test a hydrogen bomb. Yes, in a real live, actual mm-hmm. bomby type of test. 
It says the first type of this hydrogen bomb known to be bomb no, bong, known to be <laughs> immensely powerful. The, a previous test was conducted on February 2013 and came with the state's first claim to have miniaturized the device, although atomic device was although an atomic device in that instance. I don't understand what we're doing with North Korea. We just let them do random things and we just get mad when we think it's too dangerous. I that feel like that's usually what happens. Pretty like, much. Damn it, North Korea, stop. Yeah. And they're like, hey, let's do this tomorrow. It'll make the Americans mad. I'm going to be going to South Korea for my job. So hopefully I don't get blown up. You probably won't. Yeah. I probably won't. Now if I did, lady. could you imagine? Tall, blonde, weird, have a target yeah, on but your head. like a month or something. It's a long time. It is a long time. Long time without fact. You guys have to learn how to do it. Mm. Do it to yeah. it. Yeah. We'll do it. Yeah. <laughs> is that... <laughs> Am I even in frame right now, Nick? I'm not, am I? Yeah, you are. No. You're just already getting prepared. What? I'm saying for when I'm gone. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to get blown up in South Korea. Oh. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. Be a sad day. I know. All 10 of the viewers are going to be like, well, this show's even worse now. Well, if you uh, if you can't lead the fact show, Nick Colgan's going to have to lead. He's going to have to be our fearless leader. Yeah. That's right. right. Yeah. Yep. I can do it. That's right. So does anyone have anything else to say about North Korea? Well, I I question the validi- validity of the claims because I mean it's pretty we're hard to get it. Everyone's gonna know you blew up a bomb. I mean, like our like yeah, where are you blowing up these bombs? I'll say sure to think about that because North Korea lies about fucking everything they do to try to make them seem cool. But yeah, when you look at like North Korea and where they're at, and you're like, where are you where are you blowing up these hydrogen bombs? Like, you know, where are they detonating them at? Yeah, I mean, I guess they do. Like, if you look at pictures of North Korea, it's just a bunch of empty, mm-hmm. wasted shit. shit. You want to know? You want to know the names? What? Punge Pyongyang. <laughs> you really know the name? Yeah, <laughs> that's the capital. Pongye Ri. Like six cap, six. No, no, no. Pongyang. So. Pongyang's on here. They're not doing it near Pongyang. Pongyang on north. Oh. To Pungye Ri, Yang Dong Tong, <laughs> uh, Take Chong, and Yang Byong. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny, okay? I love those places. Oh my god. Okay, I've had a memory of Mini Emery's and Young Doc Tong. <laughs> um, come up young Cock Tong? Do they yeah. like. But how would this sound in English? Well, they just have a board <laughs> and they spin the thing and they do three spins it's and the they lottery. combine them. They combine. Long oh, Doc Tong. But yeah, I mean, god. just our. The sensor net that we have basically to detect earthquakes can I detect. Don't have the sensor net, I have the internet can detect a uh, mm. nuclear bomb set off pretty much anywhere in the world. This is very and true. that has not been, like, nobody's yes. registered any sort of readings. You see those P-waves normal. And waves. Yeah. They're like a special hydrogen bomb that doesn't, doesn't make, a make vibration. waves. Well, North Korea likes to use it. Like, they say they have all this, like, crazy tech, so the world takes them seriously. Yeah. The point is they don't have any fucking money at this point. And, and most of them... No one likes working over there because everything fucking sucks and they can't leave. I read somewhere that something that, like less than 600 people over there have access to internet in the entire Yeah, it's country. like a percent or something like mm-hmm. that. Cuba, Cuba, they, there's no internet in Cuba, right? Yeah, I, I heard that too. Yeah, they run like, they have like wires that go all, I guess they're like coaxial wires or some fiber net or some shit. And they just run it through all the streets and you can download Blu-rays that they have, you know, taken illegally and given out to everyone. And you can pay for a service like that. Really? Yeah, it's all like this underground crazy shit. You haven't heard of that? Yeah. Uh-huh. But yeah, I mean, like, even... Still don't want to go to Cuba. Even wow. most of um, North Korea's military is decaying 1970s technology, for the most part. Mm-hmm. All their tanks. Like, yeah. yeah, all their shit. I mean, like they like to keep the nice, shiny stuff, you know, and have the President Kim Jong ding it along or whatever his name, name is. Along. Mm-hmm. You know, come and, like, take pictures by it. But, I mean, for the most what part... What does uh, they do for money? How do they get money? They print well, it. What do they do for the money? They just make the money and hope that... Uh, no, well, they, how, Yeah, how do they get money? Uh, they scream and plead about shit saying, oh, we're going to go blow somebody up. And then they say, unless someone gives us money, and then we give them money. That's usually what happens. Hmm. Yeah, swear to God. Kind of what Dr. Evil does. <laughs> yeah. Did you see the image? It was, re- it was on the <laughs> internet. It was making its rounds. It was of um, Kim Jong-un. <clears throat> it was a car and a big picture of him on top of this like limousine like going on the freeway and it was like when you forget that you just blocked instagram for your whole country but you took a really sweet picture of yourself you want everyone to see <laughs> that's funny. funny 
And yes, we are getting most of our information from the movie The Interview on North Korea. I fell asleep. I movie. did fall asleep actually during that movie. I don't think it was bad. I just think it was real tired. Then. I thought it was bad, and I was real tired. I liked it. I liked it too. Good it job. was bad though. It was. <laughs> I'm not saying it was good. <laughs> that was probably I liked the, it. That was the first movie I watched on Netflix. In my life. Wow. Was really? it on Netflix? Yeah. Yep. Why? Oh yeah, I remember that. No, I found was. Netflix late. Late in the game. You Interesting. Found it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sound like, like finding Jesus? Like dig on your bed and I found Netflix. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was part one of Fact, episode 28. When we return, we're going to talk about a little bit of your sports box and we're going to finish up with what would we do with $1.4 billion. billion dollars. BRB. Are we just dancing before we start every single thing now? Every time. Because I don't think that's how you get more viewers. <laughs> if you think about it. They tune in just for this. Like, if people don't stop with the game, Matt. I don't really get it. <laughs> 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 All right, Patrick, are you ready? <laughs> Woo! Welcome to the Sports Box, everybody. How are we doing today? Oh, I'm great. doing great. <laughs> great. I got things to talk about. <laughs> I know, I know football. I am caught up 100% on the playoffs, you did. on the big game. That's right. On the yeah. World Series. Yeah. The Alabamians. That's right. All Speaking right. of Bamians, let's talk about it, guys. Yesterday was a national championship. What do we think about it? Well, it was it was quite a winger dinger <laughs> of a game. <laughs> I don't know what that means, Nick. But what yes, are some other winger dingers yeah. that we've seen in the past. Oh, that. That other game, you know, the one where they were playing that that sport with the balls and they were trying to score the points. And that the muskets. What the muskets? <laughs> I'd like to see that. Are you that talking about high lie? Uh, All right. I liked it. I liked right. it a lot. Yeah. I know nothing about college football. Um, yeah, but, you know. I'll, but that's the thing. Going in to a big event like that, if it's not a close game, I'm just going to be yeah. pissed off for some reason. I like that because I can't game. respect anything that's going on. Otherwise, you're like, oh. Bama beat Kentucky because Kentucky didn't have their second string quarter. Let's see, that didn't make any sense. Of course, they didn't. Yeah. Sense. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Of course, first string quarterback. I thought it was good, right. Nick. It was good. I don't know if it was great. It was pretty great. <laughs> How would it be I great? Mean, I don't know. Like I think because all these bowl games were such big blowouts this year, it was actually one of the worst oh, that's college good. football that's good bowl point. seasons of in like the of history. the year. No, no, oh. but. It was actually, yeah, there was all these blowouts happening. So, you know, it was nice to see the championship game, the main game, be actually a be a close game as a championship game yep. should be. And I think the better, the best team won. And, uh, yeah, I, I think it was awesome. I liked it. So for well, our viewers, yep. can you, either of you two, succinctly, we can let sum Nick up. talk if you want to try. Sure, okay? I can try. <laughs> That's all we ask. Put me in, coach. Um, okay, so recently, my understanding is that they went from just having these bowl games, which quite frankly, I didn't understand how it worked. You just picked best teams to play other best teams, and it was called a bowl game. Now it's a real tournament-style championship that's going on. Not uh-huh. completely. Okay, okay, that's okay. exactly. So explain what happened. Was there ever a bracket? Is the bracket completely new, or was it all just based on this BCS Ranking it's, system. It's the BCS. second year of the BCS playoff. Oh, no, well, the college football playoff. The college football. No, oh, my bad. My mistake. It's not the BCF, BCS, BCS anymore. No. What is it now? College football college playoff. College football playoff. Okay. When did that Ash change? Cole, Dr. Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> what year did that change? Two years ago. Two years ago. Two years so it's 2014. Yeah. Who won last year? Uh, Ohio State. Okay. I get all, all Alabama. And Alabama mm-hmm. State and Ohio, I get those two teams confused. I don't know and why. then Duke. Yeah, War Eagle. Oh wait, that's basketball. <laughs> Doesn't wait, wait. What, what, what is Ohio so, State? They're the what? Buckeyes. The Buckeyes. Oh, okay, but they don't have like a roll tide annoying thing. Oh hi. Oh. The roll tide is the worst. Yeah. Roll. Like you should have seen him this morning on uh, ESPN First Take. That's the first thing uh, Stephen A. did because he's a he was he was rooting for Bama, mm-hmm. and he basically he does that roll. And so at the very the first take was here in Phoenix actually. Oh shit! Today, no guys. way! Yeah, yeah. Did where you, were you? Did Nick? you go get Where'd on all it? The no. I get? Right. And uh, he opened the, <laughs> the show. Whole box of them. He started the show. The topic saying with the whole crowd together, they all were like, "Roll Tide." Yep. Wow. Yeah. Just like that. That was cool. Just like that. I'm glad. 
But uh, to I guess to answer Matt's original question, yeah, dude, there were basically a bunch of people that would vote every week about which team should be one, which team should be two, which team should be three. Seems real. And stupid. they looked at how. So it's like American how, Idol. What are the? What's your strength of schedule? What kind of teams are you playing and beating? And how bad are you beating them? And how bad are you beating the bad teams? And basically, yeah, it was all an eye test. This is before like, BCS. Th- well, no, this is before the playoff. This is the BCS. The okay. BCS. And then basically at the end of the year... The Bowl Championship have, Series for you less informed that's right. folk out there. At the end of the year, you had, true. you had one versus two. He's right. You had one versus two in a national championship. And then all three basically through 20 would... You know, and even the other schools would just kind of, you know, you'll play them. Mm-hmm. Uh, you, well, you guys play each other. And it was always just lame, especially the championship, because like one year you had Alabama, who was just steamrolling every a team. A juggernaut right. of a team. And then you had Nordic Dame. Oh, oh God. I remember when they were a thing. Yeah. Their and fake they, 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 they Goddamn yeah. hunchbacks. They, they, they finished number two, right? And, but they play in a bad conference. They beat bad teams. And a team, I forget what team was ranked number three, but number three should have been number two. And that's what everybody was like arguing about. Oh, I but see. But instead, see. Notre Dame got to play Alabama in the championship, and Alabama beat them by like forty points. Oh, and it was like roll. this is a stupid championship game. You know, of course, all the little Notre Dame fans are like, "No, we deserve to be here." And it's like, "Shut up, Carolina Panthers! You don't deserve to be here." And we'll get to that topic soon. Is that when the Carolina Panthers were part of the BCS? That's uh, when they were in the Was Pac-10? that the last year of the yeah. BCS era? The what? Uh, Pac-12. Notre Dame, Dame, Alabama? Oh. No. So one, one last question. Can't, that was a good game. Yeah. That one was good. One last question. Okay, Roll so the, there's the Rose Bowl. Yeah. Oh, there's the... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there's the Rose Bowl. There's the... The Fiesta Bowl. Well, I'm thinking ones that are, aren't named after Orange companies. Bowl. The Orange Bowl. The Sugar Cotton Bowl. Bowl. Sugar Bowl. Cotton Bowl. Are those like the main ones? Those Is that like for like second place, third place? Bowls. Usually, yeah, they're always. What, they, what does that what does that mean now? What? Th- those names of those bowls. Well, the Rose Do, are Bowl are they necessarily from a certain town always? The Rose Bowl is always in Pasadena, California. I feel like it's bullshit because then they make all the money from it, but continue. Yeah, well, so I'm they, saying, it's this whole it's, it's silly. called the Granddaddy of the Mall. Yeah, Rose Bowl. But uh, usually, it features the best team in the Pac-12 versus the best team in the Big Ten. Mm-hmm. That's usually every year, one versus one, unless those two teams are like ranked one and two. Obviously, they're going to play in the national championship. Or, I don't know, like a much higher bowl. But So were there bowls that were played before, like, as part of the bracket system? Or was it like they, everyone did their brackets and then they went and off to do these bowls games? No, yeah, everyone played in, like, the Pac-12. They all played each other. And then, you know, basically the winner got to go to a bowl game. And I'm saying, what is it now, though? Like, those bowls still they're exist. Still, yeah, they're still there. How are they? Are they just, are they part of this bracket yes. system now? Because are they part of, like, a loser's bracket? Last year, the Rose Bowl was... One of the playoff games last year. Gotcha. Okay. It was that Oregon and Florida State. Uh, this year, the Rose Bowl was just the Rose Bowl. It was just one versus one. But because the Big Ten champ was playing in the playoff, they took the second place team mm-hmm. to play Stanford in the Rose Bowl. You know, and, and they had the Cotton Bowl and the, you know, Orange Bowl. And so this year it was the Cotton Bowl and the Orange Bowl the were the Bowl. playoff bowls. <laughs> But, you know, it's going to change every year, but I think it's never, I think it's always going to be like either the Fiesta Bowl, the Rose Bowl, the, yeah, yeah. The, cause those are usually like the biggest bowls, you know. Looking for and the then, candy bowl. You know, you've got the, uh, um. Well, you're good. I'm satisfied. Yeah. Okay. You're gonna tell me all the names I've already forgot. Well, you've got the Pepto Bismo Bowl. Is that one of them? Brought to you by Pepto Bismo. Bismo. What and about my Mexican that Motel food. 6 <laughs> the, the Nintendo Wii U controller. Motel bowl. 6. Oh, that'd be so nice. The Motel 6 bowl. bowl. I would go to that. There is a Motel 6 Bowl. Yeah, no, wasn't that here? Yeah. Where was that? Uh, it's in a it Motel, was a Motel 6. 6 Cactus Bowl. <laughs> That's what it was called. <laughs> and we were in it. And we like, all right, so let's get, and okay, let's get them back on topic. All First right. off, I don't right. think they should have won. Who? Because Who? Let's get a, let's get a quick recap Whoa. of the game as told by one of you guys. Wait. He's going. Okay, yeah, so he's going. No, no, no. I want to hear Matt. Okay, yeah. so basically it was a really close game the entire time. Then Alabama, what was it, like fucking, I'm going to say it's mid-30s, okay? Um, mid-30s? Like yeah, weather? That was, that was the score. Score-wise. No, like 28 or something. Okay, both teams, 28-26. One team was up by more. Clemson was up by more, I think. Doesn't matter. 
Uh, in the Alabama, fourth. Alabama, in my opinion, did a crazy play. The onside, onside kick, kick, which was the game changer. It was the game changer, but I guess that's why it's called college football. Yeah, man, that shit would work in the NFL. It, They actually did it in the Super Bowl. Uh, paint, uh, the 1935. Saints, nope. In 2009 or 10, the New Orleans Saints did it at the beginning of the second half. Mm-hmm. They did it against Peyton Manning and Indianapolis Colts. He opened Cost up the half rain. with an onside kick to get the ball back right away. Well, then and that's that, good. That's, well, that's why risk. they always say, like, championship coaches, like... Will take risks. Take risks, and that's why you're a championship coach. Mm. And unless you take risks, unless you do it without the condom, what? you ain't going to be a winner. <laughs> you ain't going to be that's a winner. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, no. Nope. That's what I live nope. my life on take is taking risks. risks. That's right. Take risks. Okay, and then secondly, living life on the edge. They uh, somehow managed to do a miraculous uh, run back off the little kick. Oh, that was thingy, awesome! Uh, to, for yeah, a touchdown yeah. for not, for uh, you know a twelve point lead. Yeah, overall fourteen point, a ninety yard touchdown return. Um, mm-hmm. with like they, just Clemson minutes to go in back. the fourth. Granted, you can't say that touchdown on the way back would have happened either way because they were just fucking going for it. You know, so random shit happens. Apparently, I think basically this game was random shit fucking happened, and one of the teams won. Well, I think what's really cool, though, like when you think about it, the score at half was 14 14. Mm-hmm. The final score was 45 to 40. Like, they just, they, they took turns in the second half, just literally, like, it was literally, they like, went like a, to town. Like they were swinging at each other. They left threw the and right. whole playbook, like, <laughs> into the wind and said, fuck it, let's do an and onside shot kick it and with hope we win. That's right. That but is right. It was awesome, dude. It was good. But, okay. Let's talk about the other topic, guys. We've got the division round games this week in the NFL. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. We, we do have to get to this. Right. We, got, we got 10 minutes. All right, guys. We, can do we, 10 gotta minutes talk about we gotta talk about our hometown team, Arizona Cardinals. Woo-hoo! Do you guys know something crazy? We're no. talking about football, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. He said now. the division something or other. I didn't know what that meant. What's now crazy? The Arizona Cardinals, for like the first time since I can remember, are what, Matt? 13 and... Oh. No, nope. we've lost three games. <laughs> no, four games? no, what? No, what, Nick? Thirteen and three. It would be. I said three. Yeah, but I'm saying for the first time though, this. Oh we, yeah, we're we're we ranked are, two. Yeah, we are favorites, favorites to win the Super Bowl. What? We are the Las Vegas predicted sports book, whatever you want to call it. We're the Las Vegas favorites to win. But so how the Cardinals? Let's go to Vegas. Vegas. That, happen? that means a lot of people are betting on the Cardinals to win. So do we do we make good trades in the past few years? Have we we got a good coach. We, had, we got a great coach, dude. Why did he come here? Because no one was giving him a chance. They've already done a million stories on him on ESPN, mm-hmm. but no one gave this dude. This dude What's is like six Bruce, Bruce Arenas. Arians. Arians. Arenas. That was a USA soccer coach. But Arians, he. Uh, I am America. Ricardo's biggest. He's bandwagon like sixty fan something years old, and his whole story was like no one gave him a chance. And then he took over the Indianapolis Colts one year mm-hmm. when their head coach was out because he had cancer, so he got promoted to head coach. No reason to be out. And he did good with the Colts while the head coach was out, basically. So then the Cardinals were like, him. took it into the playoffs. The Cardinals were like, we'll take him. And he was coach of the year too. Like, then. well, the first year he takes us to like a ten and six record or yeah. whatever, right? And we don't make the playoffs. Then last year he takes us to five and zero, oh, and then our star quarterback mm-hmm. or star. Or, yeah, it yeah, wasn't star, just our star quarterback; it was like the whole team. The whole team. He goes out. He still limps us into the playoffs. We lose to the first game to the Panthers, but. This year, under a healthy team, like, it's really awesome. Healthy. We're going We're all the great. way! That's Whoa. Oh, check those levels. <laughs> go back to that. 12 minutes and 32 <laughs> oh, seconds. Yeah. Mark, Mark that. that. <laughs> Stamp that. <laughs> Stamp Nick's Sorry. douche bag. One in every episode. Oh, my God. The beginning of Victor Sports Box was all over the place. I'm going to have to, like, mute that down. Nah, it's going to sound like Janice. Victor's yelling through a tunnel nah. later. Oh. Anyway, but the sports other ratchet. Box, sports. So, guys, let's talk about... What? Minnesota. Oops. Seattle Seahawks. And ain't oh, it a bitch. Curveball. Okay, you gotta, you gotta explain <laughs> what happened, but continue. So the Seattle we'll Seahawks, back. who bought, basically won the NFC back-to-back years, and they won a Super Bowl mm-hmm. once and almost won again last year, right? So they, they get into the playoffs this year because they're lucky, in, in my opinion. And, yeah. and, and they play in against Minnesota. They're about to basically lose the game because all they Minnesota l- has to do is kick a 27-yard field, field goal, right? In the middle. In straight. the middle. I don't give a shit how cold it is. It's a 27-yard field goal, right? And it's of all teams... And they're home. That's what she said, by the way. Sorry, that was belated. Yeah. yeah. 
<laughs> I don't care about how cold he's it is. He's more like in shock. He's like, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> sorry. <laughs> anyway. Sorry. I'm sorry. And of all things to happen to, of all teams, like, the Seattle Seahawks really get that lucky break yeah. to stay in. If they win the championship, you know what I'm going to do to the Minnesota Vikings kicker? What? Can you guess? Um, you're gonna, you're gonna <laughs> tear his, you're gonna tear his legs off Send with a, a spoon fruit basket with a bunch of grapefruit. That's right. Oh. Some big spoon. I held it in. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> exactly. I mean, that sucks. No, I mean, I'm sorry. What's happening right. to that kicker in Minnesota? I but, have, yeah, uh, go. words. I have three words for you, Victor. Go ahead. Do you know what those Touch words the are? Bags. They are <laughs> Touch the bean Touch the bean. Bag. That's four words. Laces word. out, Dan. Yeah. Finkel. Your little footballs. <laughs> Laces out. I'm going to play that real quick. We'll continue. Uh, but, yeah, dude. I mean. Talk that, about. No. I mean. It's not even. It's, it's Seattle and it's Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. Yeah. <laughs> They're just lucky. Yeah, they lucky. both got lucky, lucky as teams. shit. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Actually, I didn't even think about it. think about it like that with Pittsburgh. Except I thought Pittsburgh was the better team, though. That's the difference. Mm-hmm. Well, actually, Seattle was the better team, too. God damn it. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> All right, God, I'm glad we it's stopped for a second for that. Yeah, it's Ventura. It's Ventura, oh. which is with a whole Finkel Zeinhorn. Anyway, okay, but the other thing now, guys. So we've got the Seahawks playing what team, Matt? Uh, they were playing the fucking Texans. God, oh, Matt, God, you know the this, dude. Steelers. Oh, no, no, no. Wait, 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 you wait, wait, wait. know this. Wait, wait, wait say it again. This. They are playing what team, Matt? Next, yes. next. We yeah, just who we really talk about all year. We literally just been talking about them, the, like all of facts. But we before. haven't been talking about the, the Steelers Carolina. Not, not talking about the Steelers. About Steelers. Oh, this the Carolina Panthers. God, what? What, what am I working here with, Nick? Matt? I mean, <laughs> Damon. <laughs> so they're playing the Panthers next, right? So who? you yeah. realize the Seahawks? Oh, are playing the. <laughs> Your the hair's Panthers. crazy now, Nick. It looks like so, you're stressed and you're like just pushing Do you back. realize what this means? It means that hopefully they lose. It means that I don't One know who teams. to root against. I was going to ask you that. Because That's why I had a question mark at the end. I was like, eh. Gosh, darn it. Who do you think is a better team? Oh, shit. So you're the saying Seahawks. the Panthers are a Seahawks good team. Seahawks are the better team. And I can't ah. believe I said that, too. Oh, God. Uh. <laughs> this is why would you basically Victor's worst nightmare oh, right man. here. This is well. They said because, this is the Cardinals' nightmare. Like, well, we the, the Cardinals playoffs. want to play, in my opinion, the Carolina Panthers in Carolina rather than play the Seattle Seahawks in Arizona. What? Why? Why? Because the Seahawks, I feel like just oh, are we have play? they number. destroy us and when we're at home. Wait, 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 wait. So you're saying we're gonna play one of these two teams? No, next? no, we play Green Bay next. Okay, no, it's fine. I'm saying we're not gonna play one of those two teams in the championship. No, because no. they're all in the NFC. Well, that's so fucking stupid. I feel like if you're why seed There's... one and you're seed two, you should be on some sort of opposite end, and then you meet in the fucking but championship. That's right? what we're playing the AFC for. And Tom Brady and them boys. Yeah, we have like, gone over the AFC. Yeah. Yeah, though, but that's not really. So you're not. Really, you don't really have the number one seed. You have the number one seed in your division or whatever. Right. In your conference. Yeah, because no matter what, the right. Super Bowl you play at a neutral site, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. No, I understand that. That's why that number was context clues of me thinking it's not a championship yeah. game because you said Arizona. So. Bing bong, ding dong. I would rather play the Panthers in Carolina than the Seahawks in Arizona. Why would you not want to be at home? Because the we last just, two we just performances lost, right? we've done with the okay. Seahawks at home, we've gotten blown out. As we've seen in the Bama Clemson game, the past does not predict the future. Yeah. That? Because that's an excellent How does that apply? point, Nick. Oh, I because see where you're Clemson, going. Clemson, excellent this. point. You're good, Nick. You're for good. the <laughs> past fifty-one games, that is five-one. <laughs> this is for facts. the past for the past fifty-one games that Clemson went into the fourth quarter. With a lead, they have won, but not number fifty-two. That's right. You so what happens when you hear one statistic. Just you come across as some sports genius right now, 
and you originally sounded like Nick. a complete dumbass, and then totally <laughs> redeem yourself. <laughs> that's me. That's Nick. Totally Dropping knowledge. <laughs> and that's the second Jim Carrey movie reference of Victor Sportsbox. That's right. That's good. We're really good. So, okay. So, if we Nick, get blown out twice at home... By the Seahawks, that does not mean we're going to get blown out the third time. I like that. I I, I like that. Uh, but you have to look at it too. Like, but we probably there's will. no way we had our you know like energy up for that last game against Seattle. We'd like to think that. I'd like to think that too. But uh, Matt, uh, and then the game before that was last year. At home, mm-hmm. and that and was, we didn't that have. Was with, we, we, yeah, we that was our Skelton. third string. Yeah, that's true. We had John Skelton playing, or whatever is or Lindley, Stanley, Lindley. Or Stanford, or Lind- yeah, Stanford, uh, whatever that guy. That's right. But um, all right. Well, Matt, what do you think? I think I want to get some food after this. Is anyone oh. hungry at all? No, you Matt, listening, not, not at all. Oh, no, I'm listening. Man. I'm listening. Nick, are you hungry? I could go either way. Okay. Okay. Anyway, continue. I'm feeling something. Who do you got this week's game? The Panthers or the Seahawks, and why? The Seahawks because they're dangerous, and I hate the Panthers. Nice. But I don't need to let everyone know that every That's five fucking response. seconds of my life. I it's would love to be. Response. I'd love to be both teams. So, with, with but a stick, I, I, it I'd sucks that to, one of them's uh, gonna win. And I, Matt, I, oh, I want to see the the Seahawks win because I want to see this game in. Glendale, I guess it can't be in Phoenix. At sure. home rematch, battle of the superpowers. See, you got a championship mind right there, yeah. kid. You Go know? for the win, always. You know Nick's not you... afraid. Nick figures you got to to be the best. You got to pass the test. You got to take it all the you way to the top of the mountain. The best. With a uh, yes, yeah, with the heart of an eagle. Too, but that you're the best in the first world. Things first things first, though. We gotta beat the pack. We gotta be. That's true. We can't get ahead of ourselves. You know what, Victor? All right, guys. All right, guys. Winners, winners always want the ball when the game's on the line. The replacements. <laughs> okay, we got ten minutes left. Final thoughts. Um, quickly, guys. We can't uh, run out of time like last time because I can't edit things together if there's no video. <laughs> okay, so last last topic. Who do we think is the uh, the best team in the NBA right now? The Spurs oh my or God, the no, Warriors? No, no. <laughs> can't do a whole new topic. <laughs> oh, okay. Never mind. No, no, he's ever. <laughs> Uh, the Spurs, because they're from San Antonio. Go. Next uh, one. The fucking Thunder, because I don't like either of those teams. But Matt, doesn't Russell Westbrook just annoy you? No, I love him. Why? I love him. Because he fucking chews his fucking mouthpiece. Like a that's that's not, Curry. That's oh, Curry. Oh, Russell Westbrook. <laughs> oh, no, no. I fucking hate Russell Westbrook. <laughs> they both seem like the same person to me. No. They're a lightly dark skin dude. That is racist. That is racist. Well, His thoughts do not share the opinion. No, no, no I mean, fact. Right, does not all right. Nick you don't have the opinion of an average person, Nickel Game. Right. Right. I'm moving us along. Okay. That concludes Victor Sports Box. On to the question relating back to the statement before about the $1.4 billion. So, what would you guys do if you had $1.4 billion? Actually, I know what I would do. I changed my, my original yes! answer. Do you want me to say my original answer or you want to take it later? My original answer <laughs> was I would buy the oh, world's most comfy mattress of all time. Okay? I don't need the bed frame. I can purchase that down at the Walmart and never fucking put it together. I think the bed frame makes a mattress, though. No. Here's what I would do. That's true. I would the take, bed frame does complete the bedroom set. I would take, like, a whole fucking shitload of... What's the name of the drug that makes you super happy that releases all the dopamine in your system? MDMA? Yes. MDMA. Seeing if I wouldn't want to know the fucking street name. I'm not. I'm professional. Okay? You're the greatest. I would take MDMA pill I would, and I would, ever made. I would buy as much MDMA as possible that makes Whoa. people incredibly happy. I would rent a jet. I would fly over Syria. I would fly over Iraq, Iran, fucking all those countries, and just like ISIS to wherever I can. Just fucking ISIS? litter it everywhere. Just the dust of that shit. So for like three days. They're just happy, and they don't have to think about murdering anyone, and just see if that that's affects very thoughtful. In a weird way, whatsoever. that is incredibly thoughtful, noble. Matt, yeah. the philanthropist, like this that might is be crazy. A, the modern you superhero. Can, that's right. right. Wouldn't you love to see that on the news? Like Matt, billionaire no. flies MDMA. Billionaire Matt. Just it's like Matty Moose. Matt Matt. City. All of ice is as high as balls. Na 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 na. Gotham City does not man. Batman. 
Gotham Eddie. City needs Batman. Batman. Bruce Wayne. Oh. <laughs> and Bruce Wayne's money. a dick. Bruce Wayne's got a lot of Okay, seven minutes left. They don't need your fist, but they need your pocketbook. Tell also, me, Matt. Also, I'm not Batman. Do you play? Tell me, Matt. Do you play? <laughs> All right, if I had $1.4 billion. <laughs> you think when Bruce lands in the bathroom and he's just like constantly, he's like, Ugh. All right, you just said we have seven minutes left. Go ahead, All right, <laughs> all right. I if I had $1.4 billion, I would put it all in one checking account, my <laughs> Chase account, and I wouldn't do I would anything with it, think. and I would work just my normal job and live my normal life and wouldn't change a thing about my but life. Could- your oh. Chase account handle that money? Would you, you trust a bank? That money? What am I going to do? Put it in my mattress? <laughs> That's what I was thinking. <laughs> Sleep on it? You're still yeah. like putting it in your mattress? Yeah. No, 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 time. Thinking like, yeah, what would you do? Like if you deposit it into your like... Okay, I would account. find a way to just deposit it in the bank. A trustworthy way. Maybe over in Switzerland. No, you could definitely put it in a bank. $1.4 billion isn't a whole lot for a bank account, especially if it's like a company. That's yeah. how much money you have. Plus, where'd you store it? If you, I mean, that's like the, our whole room. That would do you the rats would eat your money before you spend it. But I wouldn't do anything with it. I would continue working at where I'm working now and live and my exact same life. Randomly, when we go out for weeks, we be like, hey, guys, you know what? I got the drinks for tonight. And we'll be like, oh, wow. Well, as long as we're go to happy hour. As long as we're on happy hour and I'll still use my coupon book. <laughs> exactly. Nick. I think I got a group on. That That's is right. the Colorado dirt bag. That's bullshit because eventually there'll be some girl that doesn't like you and you really, really like her and you're like, listen, let's go to fucking Tahiti or whatever the fuck you want for a week. Why? Because I have $1.4 billion. $1.4 billion in my bank account. And then at that point it's all lost and she has half your money. And she tells Okay, Victor, we got five minutes left. Go. Well, two minutes. What two minutes. I would do is definitely use all the money I can to buy as much affection and love from a bunch of awesome, shallow, daddy issue type of girls, and I would buy their attention, and I would buy a plane as well, and we'd fly in my plane, you gotta buy a and plane. we'd go everywhere, <laughs> and then like Matt, I would throw money out the window, but instead I would throw Monopoly money out and yell at everybody, ha ha ha, douchebags, and then I'd fly my jet. While doing lines of cocaine off each one of their breast and buttocks. Can I change my answer? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds better than mine. Okay, for that, I think you deserve this song, Victor. Let me play 30 seconds, please. What is this? It was from some movie where some guy won Douchebag of the Year. Oh. I can't remember what it was from. Go ahead. Nick Holgeen. Top that. Opinion uh, of the average man. Take it two minutes. Uh, what go. would I buy? What? What would, would the I average buy? man buy with one point four billion dollars? Two I minutes definitely... and six seconds left. <laughs> Hurry up. Go. go 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 go. I'd ask Jennifer Lawrence if she would want to go on a date with me. You it's wouldn't include the fact that you have a lot of billion dollars. Oh yeah, I definitely include it. Yeah. I'd give so you'd money. say, hey Jennifer Lawrence, I have one point four billion dollars. Just give me a chance. Will you go on a date with me? Yeah. Where are you going? Four peaks? Because I'm not going. <laughs> yeah, I get off at work at eight. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, you gotta work around my schedule. That's it. What's that? There yeah, we go, think, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, she what? should do a lot more than just going a date with you. Well, I don't want to be like dollars. butt stuff too. I want to win right. her over. You know, I bet so that bitch I don't would donate seem all to all charity too afterwards. Huh? What's that? I bet she would donate to you charity. Like Plan Parenthood yeah. or something. You want to win her <laughs> over? <laughs> like. Okay. I think our personalities click. She's real fucking tall, isn't she? Oh. Well, so that's Chelsea, okay. Like, that's okay. So, so is Chelsea. Don't be can't say it. Chelsea Fox. Oh, oh you did it. He All right, it. everyone. <laughs> On that note. Hopefully she's listening. This was the fact cast. Uh, we post a video and uh, some... SoundCloud <laughs> audio files for you every single week on the, on um we're on podcasts. the internet basically yeah on podcast services all around the globe That's YouTube right. usually posts by Friday uh, SoundCloud stuff goes up on Thursday um, mm-hmm. please tweet us, us a tweet yep. email, email us pictures you want for Nickel send us from Victor Carranza from Nick DiCarlo from Matt Miller this was the Fat Cast episode twenty eight and thank you for watching it's my tenth anniversary. That's right.